Hey, what's going on everybody? It's your boy Brandon, also known as the Georgia Picker. If you guys are a returning viewer or subscriber, I appreciate you guys being here. If you guys are new to the channel, pretty much what I do is go to garage sales, thrift stores, we do abandoned storage units, we do Amazon liquidation stores, we do all types of stuff to source items to flip online for a profit. And mainly we sell on eBay as well as Amazon, a couple other platforms, but it, our bread and butter is usually eBay, then shortly behind that is Amazon. So. That is what we do. This is our full-time job. When I say we, me and my wife, we do this full-time. We've been doing it for about three years now, and I have such a true passion for this. This is the reasoning why I showcase every single item that I possibly can show you guys of what sold. So, uh, with that being said, uh, here is the breakdown of the numbers between yesterday, which is Monday, or which was Monday, today is Tuesday. It is 7.45, so we got some packages going out. But we have 22 items going out for $755.77. And then we have a lot of six PC games going out to a viewer named Mr. Jeffrey. He buys from me all the time, and I usually try to cut him some good deals. And the six PC games are the games that I picked up this past weekend. So he thought it was a great deal. I thought it was a great deal. I'm you know, more than happy to move them. And... Uh, it, it makes everybody happy. So in total, that was $775 and some change. With that being said, we got a handful of things pulled behind me. Let's go ahead and get it. All right, here is the handful of things that we have pulled. So these six PC games, we're just going to start it off here with a viewer sale with Mr. Jeffrey. Um, three of these games are actually brand new. They're all PC games. Now, I'm not sure, you know, the crazy amounts of value in these, but they were really cool. And Mr. Jeffrey bought them all for $20 free shipping. So... Um, I thought that was a great deal for Mr. Jeffrey. So shout out to you, man, for constantly supporting the channel and putting money in my pocket and paying the bills and all that good stuff. So I appreciate you. And again, if you guys ever see anything in my store, in my videos, feel free to reach out on my other social media platforms, comment on the video, and I'll tell you guys if it's sold already, if it hasn't, uh, whatever the case is, I'm more than happy to cut you guys a great deal if I possibly can. All right, first things first is going to be this Sheila collectible. I think this one actually opens up. It does. It looks like an elephant, and uh, we got uh, a Facebook Marketplace deal with over 300 of these, so we got less than a dollar a piece into these. This one right here is sold for $5 plus shipping. All right, this Bose Wave unit. We end up wanting, uh, winning this on auction for like $22.50, something, something like that. This item right here is sold for $65 plus shipping. All right, another Sheila collectible going out. This one is also part of that Facebook Marketplace deal with that one. Got less than a dollar into it. This one is called 2001 God Bless America. And it looks like that right there. If you guys can see it, Statue of Liberty with the American flag. It sold for $16 plus shipping. All right, got another set of these digi blocks. Well, well, well in the green. We stopped at a yard sale a while back. Paid $5 for like a total of like 20 sets or 17 sets, something like that. And uh, sure enough, they're doing really well. There was none listed at the time, none sold at the time. And uh, I found them over on Worth Point, so I, feel, I felt like it was worth the risk. And sure enough, it was. This set right here sold for $32 free shipping. All right, I got a golf club going out. This one is the uh, 10 Degree Driver Great Big Bertha 2. Very nice condition. This right here sold for $24 plus shipping. Here are Hoka's. I do not remember where we got these, to be honest with you. Uh, they were a little a little rough shape. But I mean, I mean, I wouldn't say rough, but plenty of tread left. It does have a little, little wear right there, but... They still sold. These pair of Hocus actually sold for $25 plus shipping. All right, got a little toy here. This is a Transformers TLK, so the last night Megatron. It is incomplete and it still sold for $20 plus shipping. All right, another golf club here. This one is a Cleveland six iron. Tour Action is the, uh, is the name of the actual club, but it is Cleveland branded and it sold for $20 plus shipping. All right, pair of True Religion jeans. 100-75 is the correct skew, 34 by 33. These pair of pants sold for $30 plus shipping. All right, the Singtail beer gong that we just picked up this past weekend or the weekend before, I believe. And uh, we paid $4 for it, I think. And it sold pretty quickly for $23.33 plus shipping. All right, two of these active ankles. We got both of these in one grab bag at the bin store. So we had $3.50 a piece in each one. Each of them sold for $20 plus shipping. Hallmark Warner from the recent storage unit. This one's called Angel of Grace. It sold for $3.88 plus shipping. I right, got a little lapel pin here. This is uh, Nebraska Cornhuskers 3D football lapel pin. It's, oh goodness. 
we actually ended up getting this in an online auction with a whole bunch of pins this right here sold for 14 dollars free shipping all right just from this past weekend we bought some spawn stuff as well as some hero escape stuff bunch of stuff in a, in a, a local deal um, at a yard sale mcfarland toys exoskeleton spawn that one right there sold for ten dollars plus shipping all right then we got a couple of things of the hero escape stuff so if you guys remember the hero escape stuff this right here is technically not complete but i might separate that one because it is pre-owned and then uh this is actually the box for that that one right there is actually sealed so we will sell that one as sealed but we're probably going to part this one out but if you guys remember those items that we picked up and then this little tote right here we also picked up with that stuff and they said there were some extra parts well i decided to list some and i listed some today and uh both of these were from today so uh they sold for some good good money this one right here is the sentinels of jandar very cool stuff this is uh yeah, that's part of that deal as well. It sold for $40 plus shipping. And then this one right here is going to the same buyer. And this one is called Roman Legionnaires. If you guys can see that right there. This one also sold for $40 plus shipping. So that's, a, that's $80 in sales, you guys, from a $120 deal. And when I say we have so much of that stuff... We have so much of it. We still have the sealed one. So we got the pre-owned one to comp out. And then uh, we have all of those listed. I know there's one of them in there that's worth another 45. So really, really, really good sales from that haul. All right, guys. So we made it to the garage. And as you guys can see, we still got a lot of stuff over there. But we are working through it. I promise. The first item that's going out here in the garage is going to be a Cleveland Browns little one of these little bears that we got at that estate sale i think they're gonna be at the bottom yeah there we go yeah so there you go so if you guys remember we got a whole bunch of these for 45 dollars and a one huge tote like this and uh yeah the deal is working out pretty good and we got a lot more to sell this right here sold for six dollars and 25 cents plus shipping all right you guys right here in n1 we have this Harry Potter two-player starter set. We got this at a garage sale on a Wednesday. Already well in the green on that deal. This set of trading cards sold for $17.59 plus shipping. All right, coming over here to F1. F1, we have a knife set looking thing going out. If I can pull it out of here. There we go. So yeah, so this thing right here is called GSI Outdoors Santoku knife set. We got this for $7 at Black Friday deals and it sold for $30 plus shipping all right we made it to thursday and uh we don't have that many items going out i mean good monetary wise we did good on sales but number wise quantity wise we didn't uh sell as much but <clears throat> it is what it is we making good money and i've been listing quite a bit lately so i'm very happy about that so if i sound kind of <clears throat> raspy or if i'm coughing a little bit I actually went for a run in the cold and uh it got that cold air in my lungs and i haven't been running in forever your boy's getting getting a little chubby and i'm trying to uh get back into going to the gym and running and doing all this other stuff on top of running the ebay store on top of running the youtube channel <clears throat> so i know you guys are going to truly understand how hard your boy is working so uh, over on my eBay account, we have 14 items going out for $701.17. And then we have one item going out over on Macari for $10. So that puts us at a total of 15 packages going out for $711.17. So got a handful of things pulled behind me. Let's see what we got. Okay, so I think this is probably one of my favorite weeks of stuff that I sold because it's a mixture of everything. It's not just like electronics, electronics, electronics. It's stuff that I haven't sold before. It's some stuff I have sold. And it's just really, really cool. So let's go ahead and get into it. So first things first, if you guys remember that yard sale uh, last weekend or it was the weekend before, I cannot remember. This Canon PowerShot SX600HS camera got it for $25. Sold for $140.00 plus shipping and then look at this you guys we sold a teapot we got this at an online auction with a handful of stuff and uh we don't have much money in this at all saddler made in england teapot so saddler is going to be in my arsenal for now i didn't sell for like crazy amounts of money but i believe i got like three dollars into it it sold for thirty dollars plus shipping all right at the yard sale where we found all that hero escape stuff those board games and yada 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 uh, we got this Krupp's Fast Touch Coffee Mill. Very cool stuff. It sold pretty quick. It sold for $10 plus shipping. All right, got a Hallmark Ornament. Lord of the Rings. We got Gandalf the Grey. 
We actually found this in the recent storage unit and it sold for $20 plus shipping. Shiatsu neck and back massager. Got that from Black Friday deals for $7. It sold for a whopping $20 plus shipping. We got this last Friday. It's actually going to be this Alonco Advantage 2 Large Cat Flea Prevention and Treatment. Pretty cool stuff. Got it for $7. It sold for $30 plus shipping all right went to the state sale and we got this goofy hat very cool probably from the 80s maybe early 90s but i want to say 80s we got this for uh less than a dollar because five items uh and they charged me five dollars or no six it was six items charged me five dollars for all of them so we got less than a dollar into this at an estate sale it sold for 25 dollars plus shipping newbie keychain from the recent storage unit very cool the year on this is actually uh I'm not too sure. I think it's 80s though. It might be 70s actually. Either way though, uh, recent storage unit, it sold for $5 plus shipping. <clears throat> All right, last Friday, if you guys remember, we got a whole bunch of these Makita saw blades or diamond blades, whatever you guys want to call them. Uh, somebody bought three of them for a total of $44.85 plus shipping. And then this remote. So we're actually not making any money on this remote. So the estate sale, I think it was in the video if i if i remember correctly i asked the uh, person who was running the estate sale hey do you know if this works he was like i'm 99 sure it does um but if i wasn't in the video but that's exactly what he said um and i was like okay and usually you know this company does very well i usually do very well with them not a big deal it is what it is it's gonna happen from time to time but i paid 35 dollars for this vhs dvd combo now they were going for over a hundred dollars and <clears throat> I tested it and it would not catch a picture to the actual TV. I tried everything possibly that I possibly could. Um, so what do you do? When in doubt, part it out. And this remote actually sold for $20 plus shipping. So we're just recuperating money on this deal. You know, it is what it is, but hopefully we can, uh, I swear that like somebody was behind me right there. <laughs> it was kind of freaking me out. Um, but yeah, uh, you know, it is what it is, but at the end of the day, we got to recuperate that money. And then last but not least of what we have in here over on Macari, we actually sold this doll. Um, I don't remember the brand on it. I know it's on his butt, but um, either way, this little doll right here is actually from the diecast car storage unit, and it sold for $10 plus shipping over on Macari. All right, so with that being said, we actually have to go down to the garage because I had to pull the rest of the orders, and I got to pack this stuff up uh, quick because... Uh, me and the wife are going to be getting up to go to Black Friday deals tomorrow morning uh, But then again, she says she has two doctor's appointments uh, Doctor's appointments tomorrow. So I'm not sure if she's going with me, but I don't know. We'll see All right, we made it to the garage. We're right here down in C2. We actually got this uh, 10 locomotive uh, Ornament, I'm not too sure Where this is from. Maybe this is from the private pick with Mr. Tim. I don't remember um, either way, it sold for $5 plus shipping. All right, right here in J4, I don't think that's it. I think it's going to be this one. RTH. No, never mind. I think this is it, actually. So, yeah, so this little thermostat right here is from the private pick with Mr. Tim. This right here sold for $15 plus shipping. All right, right here in G2, we actually sold a watch, and I got to find it. All right, I think it's going to be this one right here the swiss army knife i think yeah that is it right there so this is actually from the recent storage unit swiss army knife uh swiss army watch <laughs> not knife um brand new never used it sold for 130 dollars plus shipping all right also here in g2 we actually sold a minolta lens and i gotta find that so it might be no, i think this actually might be it let me double check that. Okay, so yeah, this is it right here. I think this is from the recent storage unit as well. It is a Minolta 50mm 1.2 standard camera lens. It sold for $20 plus shipping. Hey, what's going on, everybody? Check it out, man. It is Sunday night, and it is 7.37. Uh, we actually did pretty well over the weekend. Usually for the weekends, I try to shoot for over a 1,000. Some weeks haven't. Some weeks have done well over that, and then some weeks are just about average, about lower a thousand dollars uh for the weekend and we did pretty good so 
Over on my first eBay account, we have 41 items going out for $1,108.72. Over on uh, my second eBay account, we have one item going out for $44.61. And then we have one item going out over on Amazon for $29.44, which puts us at a total of 43 items going out for $1,182.77. And with that being said, we're going to try to pull these as quick as possible because my video premieres in 22 minutes. So we're going to try to speed through this so we're, to where we guys, uh, to where I can actually chat with you guys in the video. So let's go and see what we got behind me. All right, guys. So first things first, this is everything that we have right here. A lot of stuff that we pulled in the room. Uh, first thing going out though is going to be this Monster Jam Hot Wheels truck that we got in the recent storage unit. Uh, this is called the Equalizer. It sold for $20 plus shipping. Alright, Black & Decker, uh, it's actually upside down. Black & Decker uh, Space Maker can opener. I uh, got this at a yard sale for $5 and it sold for $20 plus shipping. Alright, got a little Santa Beagle in Friends, so essentially Snoopy Woodstock uh, ornament. This from the recent storage unit, it sold for $15 plus shipping. A little Canon adapter. Not too sure where we got this from, uh, but either way, it sold for $10 plus shipping. Also from the recent storage unit, we have uh, six of these PVC Charlie Brown little little figures. Uh, they're pretty cool stuff, Halloween theme. These right here sold for $15 plus shipping. All right, we got Taylord the Kyrie Warrior. This is from uh, that, uh, what is it called? Heroescape stuff. This right here sold for $10 plus shipping. Got a little diecast car here. This is a vintage Hot Wheels uh, 1980s uh, X11. It sold for $10 plus shipping and this is from the diecast car storage unit. Got another diecast car from the diecast car storage unit. This is the Matchbox Nissan 300ZX. It sold for $9 plus shipping. All right, this Craftsman five-piece precision plier set. This is from the recent storage unit. It sold for a total of $52 plus shipping. All right, this Diagnostic and Statistical Manual of Mental Disorders. We actually just got this this past Friday at the Ben store. And this right here, we got it for $7 and it sold for $55 plus shipping. Also, I think last, this past, uh, no, no, no. Two weeks ago at the bin store. We got this for $7. This is a Hi-Ha car stereo with a backup camera and it's double den, 7 inches. It sold for $26.24 plus shipping. Tomica diecast car. This is a Nissan Silvia 200SX from the diecast car storage unit. It sold for $10 plus shipping. Another one of these Hero Skate pieces. Uh, this is Kelda the Kyrie Warrior. It sold for $10 plus shipping. All right, got this uh, new OEM seal. Uh, I don't know anything about it. It was just in the recent storage unit, so I decided to list it, and it sold pretty quick. Uh, it is a pinion seal. It sold for $10 plus shipping. Got a little uh, Disney pin here. This is a Taurus Stitch. This is from that Disney pin lot that I bought at a garage sale. It sold for $5 plus shipping. All right, this uh, Pop Goes the Reindeer Hallmark Ornament from the recent storage unit. It sold for $10 plus shipping. All right, one thing that's really cool about this, this is uh, close to home for me. This is a Danbury Mint Tybee Island Lighthouse little decor piece. Uh, pretty cool. It does have a chipped chimney right there. We did disclose all that. Uh, this is from the recent storage unit. It sold for $10 plus shipping. If it wasn't for that chip, it probably would have went maybe closer to 20. All right, Clone Trooper Lieutenant. Hallmark ornament. This is from the recent storage unit. It sold for $15 plus shipping. All right, Universal Studios little uh, Revenge of the Mummy uh, collector pin. This was uh, from the strip sale in South Carolina. Got a whole bunch of, or a handful of pins for five bucks. So essentially, we got like a dollar into this. It sold for $10 plus shipping. All right, also from the recent storage unit, just, uh, this right here, this little cross refill little rolling ball pin thing. Uh, from the recent storage unit, it sold for $8 plus shipping. All right, we got Tree Napper at work. So this is a Dr. Seuss or the Grinch uh, Hallmark ornament. This is from the recent storage unit. It sold for $15 plus shipping. Matchbox car. This is from the diecast car storage unit. This is a BMW X5 and it sold for $10 plus shipping. Another diecast car. This is a vintage majorette uh, I don't know how to say that word. 405 MI16. It sold for a whopping $4 plus shipping. Firo is a hollow rare. I uh, got this a while back in a Pokemon lot. Uh, sold for a whopping $1 free shipping. All right, we got Santa's Helpers. This is from the recent storage unit. It sold for $10 plus shipping. It is a Hallmark ornament. Briggs and Stratton, if you guys remember that lot that I won online, already well in the green. This is a engine sump. This item right here sold for $60 plus shipping. 
Coleman Lantern, we got this for $10. I believe does have the case. It's in beautiful condition. Got it for $10 and it sold for $70 plus shipping. And then this item right here is a ProPlan uh, Veterinary Supplements. And this right here sold for $29 uh, with some change over on Amazon. All right, guys, look who it is. It's the wifey. You guys love seeing her on camera. She's going to help me bulldoze through this for the next 14 minutes. So first things first, we're going to go to N3. And we actually sold the Garfield Marbles. Uh, we got this in the Garfield lot with all the Danbury Mint stuff a long time ago. And there they are right there. Beautiful Garfield Marbles. And uh, from 2004, they sold for $25 plus shipping all right come over here to e1 the wifey wouldn't have saw this i think it's these yeah i think it's this three pack right here um yeah little brita filters this is from the recent storage unit and it sold for ten dollars plus shipping all right we're going to l4 we sold some fungus capsules uh so supplements essentially and there they are right there i got this for like 50 cents or a dollar at black friday deals it sold for ten dollars and 39 cents free shipping all right guys so we got to pull a couple of these butterflies but we're just gonna pull one for right now um and we are looking for looks like it's going to be all right guys so that's the butterfly right there and it looks like it's gonna be that one right there it would have went for more but as you guys can see whenever i got them on auction um this one was glued back together but it sold for five dollars plus shipping all right going into c1 we are looking for the Nightmare Before Christmas DVD, and I believe this is from the private pick with Mr. Tim. There it is right there. It sold for $10 plus shipping. All right, now we're going to go to F2. F2 has some U.S. Army uh, vintage golf balls, and it is from the recent storage unit. There they are right there. So this is from the recent storage unit. Top flight golf ball sold for $15 plus shipping. All right, so that box straight ahead. All right, so the box straight ahead is actually from a yard sale. The wifey was with me. We ran into my boy Antonio. And uh, there are these vintage Bible story books, and they are volume 1 through 10 is what they look like. I uh, got them for 10 bucks. I thought I knew that was a great buy whenever I bought them, and they sold pretty quick for $50 plus yeah. shipping. All right, so on the racks on the bottom, you might have some trouble getting to them, so you got to move some stuff. Uh, but we sold a... Bill Elliott number 94 McDonald's little NASCAR diecast car. Yep, there it is right there. That car right there sold for five dollars plus shipping. All right, so we sold another one of these little butterflies, and it's gonna be this yellow one. Very cool piece. Um, this one right here is called I don't know what it's called. Glassy wing. Glassy, glassy wing. And this one is also glued somewhere. Yeah, oh no, it's broken on the back. So we did disclose all that. It sold for five dollars plus shipping. All right, going to J5. J5's up there, baby. All right, we're looking for some Marvel boxer briefs. This is from the private pick with Mr. Tim. And I didn't sell for a whole lot, but it was still a pretty cool pickup just to, just to see what, how they look. There they are right there, brand new with tags. They sold for $8. Plus shipping. Plus shipping. All right, going to the racks. We actually sold my first ever, and my first time ever finding it in the wild, Salad Master 5-star 7-inch little pot. There it is right there. We got this at an estate sale, believe it or not, for $10. And it sold for $55 plus shipping. All right, back over here to the racks. We're looking for two Ninja Bullet Blender Replacement uh, parts. They're going to be down in that white box at the bottom. Um, and there's going to be two little cup things. And then one of them is going to be screwed on. So, yeah, those two little cups right there. Yep, perfect. Uh, this is from the private, the first private pick with Mr. Tim. I just got around to listing all the rest of the ninja parts because I had to clean them. Uh, I did, and they sold pretty quick for ten dollars. Plus shipping. So you want to be the last item that we pull, and we are looking for a flashlight, speedlight, DF-400 little, little. Right there. Yep, grab that right there. <laughs> there it is, right there. We got that for seven bucks at Black Friday deals. It sold for twenty-eight dollars. Plus shipping. Free shipping. Free. It's a curveball. Oh, you threw me a curve. All right, guys, and that's going to be everything going out for this whole entire week and weekend and all that good stuff uh, with six minutes to spare before my video goes live. So uh, with that being said, much love, you guys. We do appreciate the love, and um, I'll tell you guys right now, we have, or when I say we, I mean me, um, I have a lot of work to do because this garage is looking pretty crazy again. It's like I cleared it out pretty good, and then now we're back to square one but doesn't mean that we don't have inventory 
to list, ain't that right? Yeah. And when I say we, what do I mean? You. Exactly. So, uh, yeah, much love you guys. We're actually getting very close to uh, 5,700 subscribers. So shout out to you guys for that uh, at this point in time. So much love. We'll catch you guys next video. It's your boy, the Georgia Picker, and... Zoafi. Catch you guys next time. Peace. I don't wanna wake up.